September 25, 2017 by Joe Saward Red Bull Racing has announced that it will have Aston Martin as its title partner, beginning in 2018. The team will be known as Aston Martin Red Bull Racing, and the car will feature prominent Aston Martin branding. The two parties have been working together since they launched an innovation partnership 18 months ago, and the team has carried the Aston Martin wings for the last two seasons. At the same time they have worked together to create the Adrian Nuetis and Aston Martin Valkyrie hypercar. In reality, the relationships go back far beyond that as Aston Martin's Andy Palmer and Simon Sproul were working together with Red Bull when they were at Nissan and were responsible for Red Bull's Infinity sponsorship deal, which began back in 2013. The relationship is obviously about branding, but at the same time it is also about technology, and there is to be a new advanced performance center in Milton Keynes, which will house 110 Aston Martin design and engineering staff who will be working with Red Bull Advanced Technologies to create successors to the Valkyrie. Title partnership is the next logical step for our innovation partnership with Red Bull Racing, Palmer says. We are enjoying the global brand awareness that a revitalized Formula One provides. The power unit discussions in Formula One are of interest to us, but only if the circumstances are right. We are not about to enter an engine war with no restrictions in cost or dynamometer hours, but we believe that, if the FIA can create the right environment we would be interested in getting involved. If the regulations are right, it is expected that the team, Cosworth, and McLaren will work together to create an engine for 2021. What happens in 2019 and 2020 remains to be seen as it is hard to imagine that the team will be able to use Honda engines with a car covered with Aston Martin logos. The current deal with Renault, hidden beneath Tagore branding, looks like it will be terminated at the end of 2018, which leaves a two-year gap that must be filled. How this will be achieved is difficult to know, but if decisions about the rules are made rapidly and funding can be found, Cosworth might be able to have something ready for 2019, having built a 3-liter direct-injection V6 twin-turbo LMP1 engine the VRX30A for Nissan in 11 months from concept to dyno back in 2014. This is now being used in WEC by the Bikles team.